good morning again as always i try to follow the spirit yes i have my gloves on it's like 32 degrees outside i'm on my way to church um i'm preaching this morning or giving a word or meditation or it's been a long time um <sighs> transparency that's that's my ministry um and i always know that it's gonna be something good that's gonna help somebody the more uncomfortable i am about the topic but since i'm driving and it's a bit of a drive i wanted to do another little video this morning sometimes feel like or I halt from trying to date or getting excited about dating and meeting someone new when I start thinking of all of the things that I have to share with that person before going forward with them like in my mind I feel like you are supposed to let people know what they're getting into or let people know where you've been. Like, for example, when you have had sexual trauma in your past, I feel as though when you go deeper into a relationship with someone, I feel like that is something that should be discussed it shouldn't be like y'all get engaged and then y'all start going to couples therapy and then you um and then you start telling that person hey by the way i had this happen to me when i was a kid or by the way i had this happen to me when i was in college you know what i'm saying i feel like those certain things should kind of be brought up in the beginning when you're getting ready to get serious with a person. Um, and I have a handful of things that I feel like I want a person to know before really committing to me because it's kind of like when you're selling a house or selling a car, you want to let the new owner know hey well i don't know because that might be a bad example because some folks would be like oh yeah newly remodeled and da -da -da -da. they put up some new wallpaper you know what i'm saying so it's like that's probably a really bad a really bad example um <laughs> about the, the car and the, the the home and all that type of stuff um but yeah so the point of what i'm trying to say is a lot of times when I think of my list of things that I feel that I am supposed to tell the man that approaches me and wants to court me, when I think of that long list, I start to feel a little insecure. And I'm like, oh man, like this is a lot to have to unload on somebody. And these aren't things like I stole pens in the fourth grade it's not stuff like that. I'm talking about like just things that you want, things that you share with your your potential mate to let them know why you might be a certain way. Like, because I feel like a lot of the things that happened to me has made me develop in the way that I, I've, I've like, grown or whatever I don't know um specifically with like things that happened in my childhood I feel like those things have kind of 
made me look at sex, sexuality, not sexual, like, you know, like just me coming into my own and me being like, oh, I feel beautiful. Oh, this is sexy and not sexy like perverted, but you know, like a sexy lipstick, that sort of thing. A lot of times I notice things about myself where I can be triggered. So this is so not going how I planned it, but whatever. We'll roll with it. But I feel like me talking to someone who's interested in me, and I'm not saying, oh, on the first day, hey, by the way, uh, this happened to me. Like, that's not what I mean. I, I mean when you know that you're going deeper with that person. And I'm not, this video is not about me sharing my laundry list of <laughs> my past and all of that. This is more so a video to talk about how I need to become more bold with my confidence. Confidence in knowing that no matter what I have going on in my life, confidence in knowing that no matter what has happened to me, no matter what people have done to me to maybe make me a certain way, or what I accuse people of making me be a certain, you know how you, you know, oh, they did this, so that's why. But all of that, all of that aside, I need to stop looking at, oh man, I, I can't tell him this, or oh, I don't want him to know this because I am the bomb. That is what this video is about this morning. I want to encourage the ladies that, or guys, you know, <laughs> um, I want to encourage everybody that feels like their laundry list of things from their past is going to keep them from getting a good woman or getting a good man. Because I feel like if you are walking in your purpose, if you are in God's will, He's going to send that right person. He's going to connect you to that right person where they're going to look at you how God looks at you. They're not looking at you like, oh, yo, shorty, I don't know. <laughs> like, they're not going to look at you like that. Um, <laughs> They're going to accept you and your past and what you're bringing to the table. And a lot of times I feel like I feel like the enemy does that to my mind. Like he will make me remember things that have happened to me, make me think of the things that are going on in my life and make me feel like, nope, you might as well not even date. You might as well not even put yourself out there because no brother or whatever, you know, want to accept everyone. No brother, whatever, is going to accept you. He's going to reject you. You're not going to be skinny enough. You have too many marriages and divorces under your belt. You have, like, too many health issues. Like, you know, the enemy will put that in my mind. And, and I'm like, no more. Like, I'm so sick of that. It's like, I'm so sick of letting the enemy get to me and make me feel like I am less than because when I start thinking about ministry and thinking about how when I speak to other people about things that I've gone through and I feel like I've helped somebody or I feel like me being transparent has helped somebody or made them feel like they weren't alone I don't think about things that I'm that my laundry list that I might have to share with a potential mate. I don't think about that. So why when I'm alone or when the enemy is trying to really tinker with my brain, why do I let it bother me then? No matter what I've been through, no matter what is going on with me, I still know I'm rocking it when it comes to my walk with Christ. Straight rocking it. And I'm not trying to be like boastful but I, I have to say that to myself and like I want to encourage anybody listening to this you gotta speak to yourself you gotta encourage yourself like that you know the gospel song you gotta encourage yourself and you gotta speak them affirmations speak speak God's word and tell yourself you're good 
like men and women like you're good self you're rocking it self you are doing what god has called you to do and when you start getting into that laundry list of oh man like i i have this going on or this happened to me or you know when you start thinking about that and thinking about how somebody may or may not reject you start writing a list of the things that you do have that are positive do not let the enemy get to you and make you feel like you are less than and i'm this video is for me too like it's seriously for me too because i started having that thought this morning like yes i'm like in a great mood i'm i'm gonna be given the opportunity to give a word this morning and then in the back of my mind yeah but you single yeah but ain't no man uh in your dms ain't nobody blowing up your phone it's like crazy like why am i even thinking about that like who cares i'm in a happy place right now like and i don't want this to be too long or i mean if it is whatever but i just that's my encouraging word this morning when you start doubting yourself when you start feeling insecure about your past or even insecure about your present, do not let it get to you because the right one is going to look at the right things in your life. The right things that you're bringing to the table, the right things that you've been through, and they're going to look past any hurt or things that have happened that other people fleshly people worldly people might be like dang you know you got a lot going on there <laughs> the right man or woman of god is not going to pay attention to that type of stuff that's my message this morning my message is to encourage you to stop looking at your laundry list of past things and present things that you will consider insecurities God is not a God of insecurities. God is a God of power. God is a God of strength. God is a God of confidence and boldness. And y'all, men and women of God, we have to start walking in that. We have to start just paying attention to the things that God say in his word, like all of his promises. And I'll say this and I'll end because I... <laughs> I'll say this. One thing that I did a few weeks ago, I printed out a list of God's promises. And I haven't like, you know, artsied them up yet, but I want to start putting them on my wall around the house to like remind myself, okay, if I start feeling low or feel a certain way or think about my laundry list of insecurities, I want to look at those promises and remember, but God, because God is the one who has called me. God is the one who has chosen me for my journey, my specific journey. So again, y'all be blessed. Y'all have a happy Sunday.